Hello, John from Bang & Olufsen in Manchester. And now, after a few requests, I'm going to finally do a video on the Biolab 20s. So you can stop emailing me and leaving me comments saying why haven't I done Biolab 20s, because now I'm doing it and now you're watching the video. Let's get on with it. Now, Biolab 20s stand at 82 centimetres tall, so I would class them as small floor standers but uh, they're, they're quite large compared to traditional Bang & Olufsen speakers. Now you might be thinking these look just like Biolab 9s that were discontinued and you'd be correct, they are the direct replacement for Biolab 9s with a bigger, better, improved design and sound. I love the little design cues like the aluminium foot at the bottom of the speaker and the little point at the bottom of the grille. It's just timeless, classic Bang & Olsen design. And not to mention the light up Bang & Olsen logo on the front, which obviously makes it sound better. It doesn't, it just looks cool. And testament to the B&O designers, they even look cool from the back with these slats. Every angle covered. So the one and a quarter inch tweeter lives inside the acoustic lens. So the acoustic lens is there to fire the treble up into the shape and then that spreads over 180 degrees. So it gives a wider stereo dispersion. So if you're sitting slightly off axis to your speakers, then it doesn't matter because you still get a beautiful stereo image left to right. Way down the cabinet, we have a five inch mid range driver and that's powered by a 160 watt class D digital amplifier. And then at the bottom of the cabinet, there's a 10 inch base unit and that's powered by two 160 watt Class D digital amplifiers. And we've got really flexible connectivity, just like Biolab 17 and Biolab 18. We have our wired Powerlink RJ45 inputs for connection to Bang & Olufsen audio or TV systems. A left or right RCA phono input from an analog source like a hi-fi preamplifier. We have our Toslink optical in and out. So if you want to feed it from an optical output from an audio source or television, we can go in and then we use the output to the other speaker. Service input for software updates and then our position switch. So that sets the bass response depending to its position next to your boundary walls. And our roll switch, which we give it left, right, if it's cabled to decide which channel speaker it is, and then wireless if you're using the wireless uh, wiser power link to a Bang & Olufsen audio system. And then reset resets the wireless connection to connect to a new device. And power for the amplifiers. Then underneath the cabinet, there's an aluminium foot. Well, actually, most of my viewers are actually in America. So, hello America, aluminum, aluminum foot. No, it's aluminium. So you can hide all the cables in here. There's a little cable tidy through here and two screws so it keeps all your cables nice and neat and stops them from pulling. So what does it sound like, John? I'll tell you, it sounds absolutely brilliant. So good that I'm going freehand with the camera. It's never happened before. So let's get cracking in this. So I've got it playing the Beer Lab 20s and the Beer Vision Avant and the bass is super deep from the 10 inch drivers it's a sealed cabinet so it's so tight and controlled the acoustic lens provides fantastic stereo imaging And you find the tweeter and the mid-range blend seamlessly. Merci beaucoup indeed. So Biolab 20s, lots of connection options. They are quite forgiving of sort of higher quality MP3s. Um, but if you play a high quality source, lossless music or vinyl, 
through these things. I mean, let's face it, the high-end speakers, they sound breathtaking. They are fantastic speakers, effortless, deep bass. They go right down to below 20 hertz, so you don't need a subwoofer with them, especially for music. Um, the the mid-range and the tweeter, like I said before, integrate perfectly to give a beautiful separation. You've got the clarity in the in the vocals are particularly good because you've got that big five inch uh, mid-range driver with its own dedicated amplifier. They're just fantastic. You need to come in and listen to these. I don't think they're a million miles off Beolab 5 and they're a bit more flexible because of the smaller size. They don't need as much room around them like the Beolab 5s do. Uh, again, they're just brilliant. Come and have a listen to them. I absolutely love these things. <laughs> Uh, hello, I'm Richard, uh, and now as a little bonus for you watching for this long, you get to hear my beautiful voice. Uh, now, John is very proud of this channel, and he can't bring himself to ask for subscribers, but he is dangerously close to 1,000 subscribers, which is absolutely fantastic. So if you could bring yourself to subscribe, because John won't, he finds it a bit annoying when all the YouTube videos are asking for subscribers at the end and he won't do it. He would like you to subscribe because you like it, uh, not because he asked for it. So uh, thank you for all your support. And you'll see John and myself in the next video. Goodbye.